Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Dash Brennan. If you enjoy my content, let me know by hitting that like button. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to Starship Theory. I have gotten to a reasonably sized small-ish ship. <laughs> I think that's what we could call this at this point. Um, I had gotten real low on food there for a minute. And uh, a ship came along and actually traded me some, so that was pretty cool of them. And, um, yeah, this is kind of like the essentials, in my opinion, of what you need in the beginning. Like, you need your engines so you can uh, run away from fights if you so choose. And at this stage of the game, I'm, I'm all about running away from fights. I'm not here to fight anybody at this point. I'm just trying to survive. Once I get bigger and I can start fighting people... You know, that'll be a different story, because I still have the four original crew, and they're all kind of super pissed, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much all pissed all the time. That's why I put this, this table and chair here, so they can eat there and hopefully not be as pissed all the time. So that's kind of kind of what I've been going with here. I started, you know, with the base ship was right here, and I've just kind of been branching out a little bit by little bit. Um, I'll come down once more uh, if I decide to get rid of these engines anytime soon. Or I can always, um, you know, destroy something and branch out further if I so choose. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of the, the goals so far, at least for the moment. Um, oddly enough, we have, like, no notifications, and there's just, like, a random... It's just a random rock floating by that I could have used. A random metal. <laughs> That's my luck. But, uh, yeah, I had three lasers. One got destroyed while I was furiously, furiously mining. We just got an alert for an asteroid field. Well, we got it 19 seconds ago. 19 seconds ago. Don't kill me. Uh, it's on its way now. We will be slowing down the game just to the uh, one play, or the one time speed. And uh, I actually like that quite a bit while I'm mining. And we've got a ship coming in. Hopefully it's not a hostile ship. If it's a hostile ship, it's going to make mining pretty difficult. I don't know if it's supposed to be this way, but it seems like whenever one thing is happening, that you're pretty much guaranteed to have something else happen. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm, I'm in the asteroid field now. A ship is showing up. Uh, sometimes I'm in the asteroid field and a star is about to show up. And sometimes a star shows up and then a fight shows up. Uh, that could be real difficult to uh, contend with. This... Oh, good. They're not hostile. With those guns, they look like they might be hostile. Uh, they want to buy someone. I can't... I can't... I can't sell anyone. And I can't buy what I need um, what I need would be that silicon and I can't buy it so we're just gonna mine some rocks and hopefully uh, they don't get mad at us for any reason uh, I was hoping to get that gold I, I would totally sell them all the gold I have right now if I could but they only want 23 and I only have 20 so that's not going to work for either of us here. Unfortunately, I've got quite a few heat vents so I can deal with uh, the triple laser pretty well when the third one is up. I would say it's perfect, but I can deal pretty well with it. Oh, there's some silicon. Definitely need that. Need some water to make some food. Uh, I would rather pop that rock over there than blow things up on my own ship, but I blew it up on my own ship anyways. So that's always fun. I've been trying to tackle these bigger asteroids. They seem to have better drop rates of just all kinds of stuff showing up. And I might not be able to pop it. Oh, we got it. We got some metal from it. And pop these little guys here. Come on. Give me some silicon. Ooh, that gold might be be coming in handy too. If I could get two more gold before they leave. And they're leaving. <laughs> of course they are. Oh. Haha. Haha. Did a last minute deal. Look at that. 
Thanks to the pause button, I was able to do that. Well, we got a uh, we got some heat coming in with the star now. Don't want to get too crazy with the mining while we have this star to contend with. Now we need metal to go along with all of this. Oh, I was just sitting there generating all kinds of heat. That could have ended very badly. <laughs> I just want to mine this big guy. Okay, apparently we're not allowed to do that. We're going to have to go out to this little one. That's okay. There's this big guy. We'll work on him. Yeah, he's a, he's a medium guy. We do need to let ourselves catch up on heat. There we go. All good on heat now that we're away from that star. I got this far with the ship and I was pretty proud of myself and then I ran out of food and then I... Because I hadn't been able to like research food yet. The little planner. But uh, now I can. And things are going pretty good. Pretty good. Now that I've said that, you know, all the shit's just going to hit the fan now. Because I'm like, yeah, things are things are pretty solid now. Now this asteroid's going to blow up over my shit. And uh, I'm going to lose everything. <laughs> That's just the way things happen in this game for me. It's just okay. And it's just, sometimes my luck is real bad when it comes to a video game. But that's okay as well. Building the engine seems to have helped with getting hit by the uh, asteroids as much. I hadn't built any when Dodge was overpowered. And now Dodge is capped at 5. So if I do ever get around to building my other engines, I will actually be seeing a benefit as long as I don't make my ship pretty much any bigger than it already is. Which is fine. Right now the ship's in a good spot, I think. As long as all of this, all of these, uh, uh, okay. As long as all these mining lasers can turn on, which they can. We can dissipate all this heat, which we can. And we might actually be working on this third engine. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. We're gonna have a pretty cool engine there. I need to, uh, need to turn off all of these things for a moment. Me. Just gonna be making screenshots and stuff. There's my print screen. There it is. Now I can turn it all back on. That's gonna be the thumbnail right there. Me building some engines. Why did they move from this one to that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, this guy got tired and went to go do something else. <laughs> That's what happened. I would like to be doing more research, but I need my one person that's on science to be making food for everybody. So that's kind of where we're at on that. If I can get one of these engines up, I might actually be able to run away from a fight now. As long as the engines can stay online through the fight or into the beginning of the fight. And I just kind of like the look of the spaceship. I was going to put in some corner pieces here. And uh, maybe one here. I was actually going to put in another airlock. Because I think it's pretty dangerous to be uh, rolling like this with one airlock at, at this size. Uh, someone could get trapped outside pretty easily. And uh, then things just kind of kind of hit the fan. You know all about that. You know all about when that happens to me. It happens pretty often. But that's okay. We're still having fun here. Game's still in early access. We have our engine up. And we now have plus two to dodge. Max five. Compared against enemy accuracy, plus one D10 to evade attack. Increases chance to avoid asteroid collision. When we were at negative, we hit a lot of asteroids. Now we're doing now we're gonna be doing pretty good, I think. I hope so. Gonna see if we can get through another asteroid field. I would like to build a navigation console at some point. It would be ideal to have one at this point so we could steer ourselves into more asteroid fields. Um, but we're trying to finish this last engine. I wonder, wonder if we scrapped the engine idea. Now we probably wouldn't have enough. 
Now we need 10 metal and 10 silicone to do that. And we don't have the 10 power anyways. In fact that this engine might be useless. Um, yeah, we won't be able to actually use this engine anytime soon because uh, we won't have the power for it. I don't think... Oh, here they come. See if we'll have to jump. Okay, we don't have to jump. We don't have silicon to sell. Should we threaten them and try to jump? Oh, they have a plus two just like we have a plus two. I think that we need to be higher than them to jump away. We're just gonna hang out. We'll just, uh, just we just won't be buying anything from them. <laughs> I don't know if the solar panels actually produce more energy. Oh, they do. The medium produces um, 10 more energy than you would get out of one of the other ones. Maybe we should put our uh, person on on researching for just a little bit after she's done with it. Um, how are you off? How are you on? And put you on engineering. I don't know what the CPU arrays look like. Oh yes, I do. Those go inside. So we're going to let her research for a little bit. And then if we need to, we'll go back to making food. If we get under under like 10 food, I think we should probably go back to, to research in the food. So the only way I've really been able to get this far is by having these two uh, exterior cargoes. Oh, I didn't even realize that there was an asteroid field coming. Here we go, boys. Triple lasers. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that destroys things so quickly. And will fill up my storage so quickly. <laughs> I should probably queue up another storage. It's in the cargo hatch. Throw one more cargo hatch in there if we can. We will need some metal to do that. Thankfully, we just got some. Three lasers generate quite a bit of heat, but it also makes it so much easier when you're in an asteroid field to pop the bigger ones. So, so much easier. Look, we dodged that. It blew up right on us and we dodged it. That's so good. I like not getting hit by shit. <laughs> I like it a lot. Oh, then we got hit by something. Well, at least we didn't lose anything from that. Looks like we got our cargo up just in time. Well, not just in time. We're only at 150 now out of, out of 300. We were at 200 before. But it feels like, feels like it's just in time because we're still in the beginning of the asteroid field. Okay, we're overheating, but we want to get this gold before we uh, let it let it deal with the heat. Now we can go back to generating heat. As long as we don't lose a laser again, I'll be happy. Uh, I lost the, my third laser earlier, and it makes it kind of difficult to go back to uh, just having two. Or even one at this point would be kind of impossible to go back to one, just because it would feel terrible. I have not checked out the mining console yet, but I should. Um, it was something that we all asked for, and I don't know how it was implemented. Uh, they we're talking about mining being automatic, which would be interesting, to say the least. Let's look at that real quick, what the mining console does. Work by military increases mining range by combat skill. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's a good way to implement it. See if we can pop this big one before our systems catch too much fire. Don't think it's gonna happen. Nope. It's already too far away. That's okay. We're doing pretty good on gathering some of these materials now. We're getting into a good, good positive area on uh, on our metal and our silicon. Now we could build that extra engine. Too bad we can't. Get that last metal. Oh man. Systems are overheating. Someone should probably deal with putting out that fire. If you guys could. That'd be super. Alright, you did. Thank you. When your water water cooler's on fire, that's kind of bad news. 
She let ourselves go off just a little bit and go back to it. If I if I could, I should probably build another layer around the ship to uh, to get some more heat vents going, more power, more CPU. All those things that uh, I'm kind of running short on all the time. But now we're in a pretty good spot. I would like to be able to start selling some uh, materials to people so that we can get another crew member. I think that would be pretty handy. Why is our research station off? What, what did we lose? We lost a CPU somewhere? Oh, it must have been right here. CPU right there. Uh, CPU isn't off, so it must be that. That must have been where we lost one. I didn't see a notification. They have started popping up there, but I didn't quite notice it. Oh well. We'll build another one, then we'll turn on our research station. Actually, yeah, we'll turn on our research station. We need to sell some, some water to someone. We need someone to come by and buy like 100 water at 5 each. And then we can probably afford another person. Turn on the research. Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. There, now you can research things again, lady. That makes you happy, right? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I think something cool that could be added would be, uh, like, uh... Like some kind of android or something that, you know, you have to provide power to it, but... All it does is repair your ship, and uh, that would be kind of cool, or all it does is put out fires, so that you don't have to put someone on that all the time. That'd be kind of handy, I think. We are researching again, we're trying to get up to two points, so we can uh, replace like, this section right here with a double, a double uh, medium. Not a double, but a medium solar panel. That would do us some good. And, uh, we might be... Oh, we got a star coming up. I'm sure you don't want to miss the, uh, potential to watch me burn. Put it out. Put out the fire. Come on. You can do it. There you go. You got the engineer to do it. Okay. <laughs> he said, I can't be bothered with putting out a fire. All these, I got five heat vents going. That's uh, doing pretty good for us. Doing pretty good. This person's kind of unhappy. I'm gonna tell them. Kind of want to tell them to go to sleep so that they get happy. I'm always happy once I go to sleep, and when I wake up. Well, maybe not when I wake up if it wasn't a long enough sleep to begin with. But yeah, this ship is doing pretty good. I would recommend this design. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's got everything you need as far as, like, you can research, and you got your food and your water and your little table to try and keep them happy, uh, you got, you got a little bed so you can, you can grow some food, so, yeah, we're gonna save before this ship shows up in case things go, go sour. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, at this stage, Hostile ships can start showing up. The good thing is I have enough money to possibly bribe someone. The bad news is bribe is not guaranteed. So you could totally bribe them. They take your money and still blow you up. Uh, recently, I mean like, like Friday I think, uh, they tripled the HP of every component on your ship. And I think that does a lot as far as helping you just survive like I try to do. Uh, I'll throw everyone on engineering and put them all in repair mode and usually these smaller ships I can wait them out. Oh good, this is a nice ship. I'm not gonna sell you my 21. Oh my goodness, these guys. Oh, I can sell them 18 water. That's good for me. <laughs> 18 water, they actually paid a pretty penny for that. I just made, uh, almost 200 credits, I think. That's pretty cool. 
That's a good trade for me. I'm not gonna buy gold from you. Especially not at 30 units each. 30 credits each. That's a lot of credits. That's actually more than I have. I'm not gonna sell you Marcus either. I need to get more crew members, not fewer. The idea right now is to get more crew members. This ship doesn't even look like it should be able to survive. Doesn't have water. Doesn't have food. Doesn't have a mining laser. Um. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's a tiny ship, because they trade for all that. They buy, sell, and trade. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure if it's a, maybe learned something a little new, or maybe uh, figured out a uh, better ship than me. Uh, if you do have a better ship than me, uh, not like, you know, those massive battleships that people are coming up with right now. But if you have, you know, a beginning ship that's pretty easy to manage and get to, uh, let me know. If you have a video, show it to me. Uh, if you want to put it on Imager or Imager, whatever you want to call it, and show it to me there. You can link it in the comments. I will approve uh, comments that have links uh, to things like that. Anyways, thank you guys for all for watching i can i can totally talk today thank you for watching like comment and subscribe if you don't mind it helps me out a lot and i will see you guys next time this is dash brandon i'm out of here